Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today I'm gonna do a bit of a different video. I've been doing these videos in Spanish. I'm calling them little stories or, you know, like fun facts about me and my choice in cameras and photography throughout time. And being this channel, Nico's Photography Show, well, it's my show, so I can tell you about it. So in this case today, we're gonna to be talking about the Leica MP and why I owned it and I don't own it any anymore and why did I choose not to keep that camera and choose a different model. In this case, I chose the trusty uh, Leica M2. So let's rewind. <clears throat> and if you're wanting to see some Leica MP footage, there's no Leica MP in my hands right now. Maybe I'll throw in some of my Finland uh, top 10 Leica camera footage for the MP if you wanna see some MP porn. Uh, but basically, uh, I started on Leica cameras with the Leica M2. After using the M2 for quite a long time, I really enjoyed it. And like everyone in the Leica world, you know, you are looking for something a little different, maybe newer, maybe black, maybe, you know, something. So in my case, I was lusting for black paint cameras and the M2 in black is very, very rare and very, very expensive. So the MP was one of those that, why not? It looks amazing. I love the rewind knob in the M series and the M2 series, at least the M2, M3 and MP. I like the advanced lever. I kind of like the design of the M2 and the MP is very much the same kind of camera in the feel and the use. So I went ahead and I told a friend, hey, I really, really want an MP. I'm gonna start saving. There were around 2000 euros at the time. And he told me like, hey Nico, don't go for the MTP. I own one, let me send it to you. You can use it and tell me what you think after a while. So he sent me his MP, black paint, amazing camera, very, very new. And I threw a lens on it, started shooting, left my M2 on the side, shot, shot, loved the camera, the feel, the everything was amazing. I never used the light meter because I don't like the light meter on the Leica cameras. It distracts me. I keep on seeing arrows to tell me that way or that way. It makes me very confused. So I didn't like that. So I shot, I think it was six to eight months with it. I shot my kids, I shot sports, I shot all kinds of things. And I'll put uh, my Instagram shots of the MP when I owned it. It was serial three million something, I think. Yeah, three million something. And I loved it. I really, really liked the camera. I thought it was the camera for me. I was ready to put all that money into a Leica MP and have an M2 as my backup. And then one day I ran out of film on my MP and I didn't have any film at my house at the moment. So I was like, oh man, I wanna keep on shooting. And I saw my M2 on the side and I was like, wait, I have an M2 has film. So I grabbed my M2, I looked through it, I took one shot and the moment I took one shot, it made me feel like, damn, this is actually what really feels good, not the MP. And don't get me wrong, the MP is an amazing camera. Whoever wants a modern Leica that they still sell today, a piece of history of camera making, uh, you know, it's like a jewel, you can buy the MP and they won't regret it. But being an M2 user and these cameras uh, sell for around 500 euros, 600 euros back in the day at least, I was like, why is this camera feeling better to me than the MP? The MP should be feeling better. It's the mechanical perfection. So I went ahead and I shot the M2 and I kept on feeling strange. Like, why am I liking this better? Why is this really the camera for me? Um, it should be the MP. And I called my friend, I was like, hey, I was shooting the MP, ran out of film, I got the M2, shot, damn, the M2 felt amazing. And he kind of looked at me like, yeah, that's exactly what happens to me. So I sent it back to him, uh, he took it to London, he exchanged it for his 21 millimeter something, and someone else picked up the MP of my Instagram friends. And the next morning on a Monday, I go on my phone and I check, whoa, uh, shoot more film has the MP. And I check the serial, same serial, so he's been shooting it ever since. He's brassed it the hell out of it. He's like loved it and enjoyed it ever since. I'm so happy someone is doing that because most MPs usually go to collectors that maybe just put them on the side and don't shoot with them. I wanted a camera to shoot, but for the price of an MP, I could buy like three M2s and even an M2 with a Sumicron like this one, these the spherical 35 and uh, enjoy film like you can just buy film and shoot and develop and shoot and develop for months and years if you want to for the price of MP so that's the reason that to me it wasn't my camera now of course years have gone by I always regret things that I do like that I want an MP again and I don't want it as a substitute I just want it because it's beautiful and I want to one day buy a new Leica M body and I know the MA is there but I like the you know brass black paint MP I really really like it 
So if you're thinking of upgrading to an MP, don't think about it too much because it is a great camera. It's amazing at what it does, but it's not gonna be like four, five, six times better than an M2. And an M2 is very clean in the lines. If you're shooting 35, all you see is a 35 and a patch. If you uh, don't need batteries, it's perfect. It doesn't use batteries. If you don't need a light meter, perfect, no light meter. Uh, it's a little more flimsy to load, but I like the loading because it's kind of like foolproof. I've shot lots of ghost rolls and other Leicas by accident. And yeah, I'm clumsy, so it can be my fault. But yeah, to me, the Leica wasn't, uh, the MP wasn't the camera. I since then picked up the second M2 for probably like a 500 euros. I love them. I This is actually the second one. It's become my camera for everything. I take it everywhere, the beach, the ocean, boats, pools, islands, wherever I'm going, I take this. So if, yeah, if you're looking for an MP, try to see if you can get a loaner from a friend, someone that has it, or if you do buy it, good thing about Leica is usually you don't lose money when you buy and you resell. You can usually keep your investment, even sometimes make a little bit of money. So don't get too worried about it. And if you do want an MP and you use it and you enjoy it, good for you. I just think that to me, this is more than enough of a tool. So I hope you enjoyed this little story. Um, I do have some pictures I love taking with the MP because of course it's a camera, it takes pictures, quality is amazing. It's not about the picture quality. Someone told me recently, hey, why do you talk about, you know, image and sharpness and stuff? Like to me, a camera does produce sharpness and image quality and all these things, but to me, it also produces feelings when you use them. And of course, I enjoy using cameras as much as I enjoy taking pictures. So that's why there's a lot of gear on this channel. I like cameras. So the M2 to me is on top in quality of feel than the MP. Image quality, exactly the same. So if you want a black camera, yeah. If you want a light meter, yeah. But if you're okay with silver, you're okay with something like this, don't think twice, keep your M2 or your M3 or M4 and don't lust for the MP. You can lust like I do, but don't go worry, don't go bankrupt, don't you know put it on the credit card and pay it slowly, whatever. Try not to make that mistake, buy film, shoot film, enjoy that, print film. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember, you can subscribe to the channel, you can go check my Patreon if you wanna see more videos like these, little stories like that. You can see more, you know, whatever you want, you can ask. Uh, on Patreon, I'll do a video if I can. I do super film support on Mondays and the news on Tuesdays. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Are you going to dislike the video or like the video? Uh, do you share my feelings or maybe not? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.